last time we stopped uh, here, we did the ones before, and uh, we will continue our journey with uh, Derek Chatter. Batting second from the New York Yankees, playing shortstop Derek Jeter. I remember it was the first time I had a chance to start the All Star game. So you're excited about that. A line at the left. It'll drop for a hit. Down the line. Possible extra bases. Jeter is in standing. I was able to get a few hits and score a run. Here's Jeter who doubled his first time up. It's one through the middle. And Jeter's two for two. A line drive and he's three for three. One run home. Jeter has knocked in two and scored the other. It's been some days I didn't right do time. my... Uh, my life stream. I had zero idea I was a bit busy. No Yankee had but ever uh, I was posting MVP. videos it's mind for people to think want to share. All the great players we did two parts of uh, this storyline. I think we will still have this and two more. This and one more. Depends on how much we play. There's a long history there, so you had to be the first to do anything in Yankee uniform. It's tough to do. <laughs> so let's see what we have to do here. <laughs> I'm just thankful I got an opportunity to play. Let's make the captain the captain. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and it comes in too late. He's up to third on the flyout with one away. That one oh. ripped. That's a good one. That's a very good one. That's down. One hops off the wall, okay, and now the tying run is in the scoring okay, position. Nice. I take a sip of coffee. A very good strong coffee. La Pazza one. A slow roller, but Martinez doesn't run well. Jeter up with it. Start spreading the news. New York, New York. Now the stage is set for the subway series between the Yankees and Mets. But they lost it this year. 2000 was second to none. I think New York was the center of the baseball world. We had heard so much about how good the Mets were. They were close the year before, and then everywhere you went in New York, that's all people talked about. Oh no, it's Alonso. No, no, it's Alonso. Yankee fans don't blow it. One of them. If there's any series that you can't lose, it's one against the Mets. We were the talk of the town. You hear athletes say all the time, the game speeds up, it slows down. It slows down when you're prepared. So I knew how fast he was. I saw he wasn't really running that hard because I think he thought it was going to be a home run as well. In my mind, it was if Justice could give me the ball as soon as possible, we have a chance to get him at the plate. Talk about the jump throw. That was a relay throw where I was on the move. I didn't stop. Right on the money, an off-balance throw. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that was a big moment in the series because, you know, they were feeling themselves at the time.
swing and a ball hammered left field. It bangs off the wall. They're going to send it. Throw to the plate by Jeter. Nice. Inning over. <laughs> Derek Jeter with a relay that, throw to uh, the top of the sixth. Says it was in real life, but it was good. Rapid relay. So a change to the lineup card here in game four. The Yankees want more production out of the leadoff spot. So tonight, but Derek Jeter will hit first. Nice and boo, the Yankees have no interest oh, in waiting first of, around uh, tonight. They're mod. coming out it's early that, looking okay. to attack. Let's see if Jeter can spark something. Come on, a second hit. In the second inning. That's best. Check oh, that's swing, no appeal. We've seen a bit of everything in this series, Boog. It took 12 innings to play game one. The Yankees won the first two games. The Mets responded and now have a chance to tie up the series. Wow. Zips it across. Okay, and that's an out. Boog, it's so surprising that the last Subway series was 34 years ago. And it wasn't the Yankees and Mets playing back in 1956. Oh. It was the Yankees and the Brooklyn Dodgers. And that okay, one is a in the air. Ah, it down for the out. Two down. These subway series used to be a much more regular thing. Starting in right, 1947, seven out of ten World Series were between New York teams. And nobody appreciated those matchups more than the traveling secretaries for each team. Oh, that right, one right, gets right, down right, for right, a hit. Right. They extend their lead oh. as the runner scores from second. It's five nothing. Five nothing. Back to the station. Jeter moves into the leadoff spot as both clubs have struggled to get their leadoff men on base in this series. Where I hit in the lineup didn't change my approach at all. Whether I hit first, second, third, every single at bat in my career, I looked fastball right down the middle. I just wasn't good enough to guess. When I was leading off, he threw a first pitch fastball and I was able to hit it out. And he goes after the first pitch, way back left field, Derek Jeter. He's on and out. more outside pressure for us to win that series than there was any other World Series because in New York it almost felt as though the city was up for grabs. That's well hit into left field by Tyre. On Bayani back, it's a 2-2 game. Derek Cheater's gone deep again. Up the middle. Finish hit. Throw to the point. Run, 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 run. run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we didn't win that World Series, it would have been, we would have been in a lot of trouble. A three-piece. The New York Yankees for the third time in a row, fourth time in five years, and 26th time in franchise history. They are the world champions. I don't know if I can describe what it feels like to be on top of the sports world in New York. When we are playing, it's like we're performing on a Broadway stage. And everyone came to see us because we were winning and we were successful. We had a run there where there was a lot of celebrating. something here yeah so have this we took we have this and this okay let's do them let's do them now hip hip george Jorge Tosada was my closest teammate. I was with him every single day for 
17 years we played together in New York. Came up in the minor leagues together. Posada. Wife and godparents to my oldest. Jorge's closest teammate that I've had. You play with teammates like Andy Pettit, Jorge Posada, Mariano Rivera for so long. It's yeah, like you yeah. already know what each other are thinking. You know, you don't even have to say certain things because you didn't have to worry about those guys being prepared. Posada swings away and hits it deep to left. You didn't have to worry about them being overwhelmed by any situation. You didn't have to worry about what their number one priority was. You didn't have to convince them that it was important. Posada hangs on. I mean, these are guys that, you know, be brothers for life. Here's Jorge Posada now with a man in scoring position. Chairs, oh, you know, too far, far and it's a three. Guys, just on the thing, huh? Memorable game a few weeks ago, hitting home runs from both sides of the plate in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, mm -hmm. his teammate mm -hmm. Bernie Williams did the same thing in the too same bad, game. Bad, bad. Crow snags it, and that is that. One run across, around third, run to the second, not in time, he's there easily. He'll score, two runs are in, it's 5-1. Yeah, it's Brian, the drone. Look at that, perfect one. He's strong, yes, yes, yes. Swimming to drive, deep right field. And in one hops the wall. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. He's safe. No, no, no. He's not. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice. Hip, hip. Jorge. Hip, hip. Jorge. Next. I have to hit an extra bit, okay. Bronx. Bronx, Bronx. Let's go, Bronx. Now, 20 year old Derek Jeter comes to the plate. There's quite a bit of wow. swing, and this one's blasted. And he's got a chance. Run. And that ball is. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's new, not good. <laughs> So we get Jorge. Okay, let's go. 20, 2001. We have three. Mr. November. The flip. September 11th, 2001. I was actually sleeping. I woke up and had a message from Jorge Posada and he told me something happened at the World Trade Center and to let him know about the game later that night if I had heard anything and I turned on the television and obviously you're glued to the TV and it was the first time during my career I felt as though what are we doing like why are we playing it's just a game I mean it's, that doesn't mean anything <laughs> Oh, okay. The 9 11. When we had a chance to speak with family members who were searching for loved ones, they were sharing memories of watching us play and saying how, even though times were rough, they enjoyed rooting for us for those three hours. And the way we looked at it was we were giving. New Yorkers something to cheer for for even just a short period of time. 
and we took on that responsibility of representing all of New York. New York PT. It seemed like for a period of time it wasn't just New Yorkers, it was like everyone was rallying behind us. Two and two. Messina with a sign. That's probably the play I get asked about the most. You gotta wait for a gapper. about 15 feet from home plate. I was exactly where I was supposed to be. I mean, it's a play that we had worked on where I'm the third cutoff man. Now, my job as a third cutoff man is basically to redirect the throw to get the runner going to third base, but I realized we had some extra time. Well, I just caught it and got rid of it as soon as I possibly could, and I tell people that's where I was supposed to be, and they don't believe me. Like I said, we were giving New Yorkers something to cheer for. But I have to replay that play. <laughs> One of his biggest play. That is fair down the right field know, line. And now it gets into the corner. What should I do? The throw misses the cutoff. Wow. Shovel to the field. Oh, nice. Out at the play. Derek Jeter with one of the most unbelievable plays you'll see from a shortstop. <laughs> the flip. Flip flop. Mr. November. The scoreboard clock in left center field reads 12 o'clock, and for the first time in the history of baseball, this is November baseball. I realized the first time the World Series has been played in November, and I had jokingly told Mr. Torrey that his contract was up at midnight. I don't have to listen to him anymore. So I gave him my bat and said, put one more hit in it. And the 0-1. Swan to miss, blew a fastball by him upstairs, 0-2. I did not like facing sidearm pitchers at all during my career. I just never picked him up. Didn't have a lot of confidence against him. Matter of fact, the about before, I tried to bunt, and I was thrown out because I just didn't see him. But in that particular about, I saw a lot of pitches. I fell behind, got back in the count, I fouled a few pitches off. So I started to figure out his release point, and just one of those moments in Yankee Stadium, man, Funny things happen. And he is going to go from the stretch on 3 2. And the 3 2 pitch. What he hit at the home run. There is a new captain in town. Attention fans, welcome to November Baseball. With the home run. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good luck. <laughs> okay, let's power our work. He's had quite a few memorable moments already in his career, and he can add another one right here. What? Come on! He loves performing on the biggest oh stage, and it doesn't get any bigger yes, than sir. this right here. But it's okay, it's okay. This guy's close. got good power with one swing. He can home run, home run, home run, home run, home run, home run. Ball, pretty well struck right field. See yes, the home run. The entire Yankee team is going to mob him at the plate. There he is, <laughs> Mr. November. Mr. November.
And the 3-2 pitch. Swung on a drill to right field. Going back sandwich. And the track at the wall. See ya. <laughs> they went like crazy for the ball. When I was running around the bases, it was every kid's dream hitting a walk-off home run in the World Series. That's <laughs> what I dreamed of, practicing in your backyard. A game-winning walk-off home run by Derek Jeter. He is Mr. November. When I first heard Mr. November, I mean, I didn't think it was something that was going to stick. I just thought it was something for a day. But I'll tell you a funny story. I ran and I jumped up on the home plate <laughs> and I messed up my heel. So if you go through some of the highlights of the rest of the World Series, I'm limping okay, all over yeah. the place. That was the first and last time I jumped up on home plate. <laughs> Some of the loudest games that we've played during my career were in the World Series in 2001. You don't have an opportunity every single year to get to the ultimate goal, and um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't win that World Series, but uh, I still hear about that World Series as much as any World Series I played in. Two thousand and one completed.